Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War. Three kingdoms, eight princes, and a pear tree. And the third part of my Sima UA... I'm going to say UA. UA campaign. Now, if you're looking for some history on the eight princes period, and it's, it's something that is, I think, really interesting, but something I wasn't too aware of. There is a brilliant video by the Kings and Generals YouTube channel, so Total War asked them to create a video, sponsored them to create a video, and they have called the Rise of Jin and the War of the Eight Princes documentary. I'm going to link it in the description because it's a really good video. Really bloody well done. Absolutely fantastic. It gives a lot of information on the Eight Princes, and it's actually absolutely fascinating. It gives you some background as to sort of how it happened and the sort of situation that the Han and, uh, and Wei and Jin ended up and how that sort of all happened and sort of the characters in in that particular um part of chinese history and I, I found it really really interesting i do love just different pieces of history that i don't know about um so last time we took a, we, we we have a little um a little deal with sima Zhong. we've well, got man. a what's, what what do we have we've got are we allies yeah we're allies with with sima Zhong, and that, that could be a problem because he's at war with um, Sima Jian, who who's to the south of us, he we did have a trade agreement with him. He now is at war with us, I think, because we, we joined up with Sima Zhang. Um, Su Yingmin, as well, who is just over here. Um, the Jin Empire, which isn't good, because those guys are strong. And Sima Yong, as well. So basically, he's fighting a shit ton of people, which I don't particularly want to be at war with. But apparently, I, I was an idiot. I took the money, and even knowing what I know now... I would probably still take the money. Um, still, that means we, we, we currently have good infrastructure. We spent a few turns being quite passive, just building our infrastructure, defeating the, the first lot of enemies that we, we have to deal with. And uh, now we've pretty much just got to head south and deal with Sima Jian. But that's going to give us potentially a nice bit of territory down here. So I think we need to move quite quickly on that. Our income's actually looking pretty good at the moment. Um, we've got a fairly strong army up. I want to level up Sima UA because then we can get Bravery, which will give our entire Redoon um, charge negate, which means that they will then be able to stand up just like Spear Infantry do. They won't be able to reflect the charge, but it means they won't take the charge damage they would from, say, Cavalry, which means they can then be a proper front line. Um, so we need to get that. I don't think these guys have much in the way of Cavalry. They've got some Mounted Saved Militia. That's not too bad. And we've, we've got quite a lot of income, actually, to play around with. We're doing very, very well. So... I don't want to move just yet because we currently get the muster rate. So for seventh, so, so basically, when you recruit new units, you you have a, a particular bonus called a muster. That increases your replenishment by ten percent because, of course, when you start when you recruit your units first off, they they start at quite um, low low HP for the entire unit and then will replenish over time to to max strength. A mechanic they took from uh, Total War Britannia, which I quite liked. So. If you move while they're mustering, they lose the bonus. So effectively, you use you lose ten percent of of their of their replenishment per turn. They'll still replenish normally, so you've still got some replenishment. But in fact, that would almost cut our replenishment in half. So that's not something we particularly want to do. So I'd, I'd like it if we can give it one more turn, and then we sort of start heading south. I would actually like to get some trebuchets in this army, but. I think we're okay with archers for the moment. I think I think this is a fairly strong force. I'm fairly happy with it. I did mean to actually install some mods. Um, there's a mod that means the AI won't refuse to duel with you. And don't... I mean, because the, the problem is, Sima UA here, he is such a strong melee combatant that no one wants to fight him. To be fair, right, to be fair to the AI, that makes complete fucking sense. This guy, he's a bruiser, right? You don't want to duel him. He'll... It'll pull your spleen out through your left nostril. It'll hurt. So, in fact, the AI is doing entirely the right thing by going, <laughs> no fucking way I'm going to duel him. But it does make it a bit more annoying for the player. It's, it's the, right, I don't mind that. What I do mind is the fact that it's very difficult to hunt down enemy characters outside of duels because they, they do tend to just run around a lot. Your characters have trouble hitting them. Basically, it's, it's a pain in the ass. So... It's better if you can lock them down into duels. I find that more entertaining. Maybe it makes the game more more e easier, especially if you've got like a strong character like Simar um, UA here. Who, I mean, if you if we have a look at his stats here, so we can see that he's got sixty percent melee evasion. 
he's got 50% armor, which means 60% of hits are just going to miss him flat off. And then of the 40% that do hit him, half of that damage is going to be reduced. Now, most characters early on don't have very good weapons. Sima Yue has the Silver Sword, which means that, uh, in fact, he has quite good armor piercing. And he's also got a very fast attack rate. So he can, how many times a unit can attack over a minute? 55. That doesn't entirely add up. He certainly can't attack more than... He can't attack every second, let's put it that way. Um, but he's got very strong stats, which means anyone dueling him is probably going to lose that duel pretty hard. So... It's understandable the AI wouldn't want to duel him. On the other hand, it's it's a little bit annoying that your best character is... You know, you, you, you can't duel anyone with them because they literally just won't face him. There's no... There's no downside for refusing a duel. And I, th I feel like there should be, right? If, if, if someone refuses a duel, that should debuff the enemy. That should debuff, debuff the, the army because they don't want to fight someone. So I feel like that should be a thing. Or you should have, like, if the character wants to duel, you should be able to decide who accepts that. So that would give it a little bit more, like, are they going to pick a weak character? Are they going to pick a strong character? That's something like that I would prefer. Um, but that's enough waffling from me. You don't want to listen to my voice all day, do you? So let's end the turn. Get this cracking on. We've got the second rank. Uh, Simalun. Uh, sure. Master of Deception. Okay. He's going to give me some money. I'm going to take that because you're miles away from me at the moment and I'm not particularly bothered by you. So we're just going to take that money and run. I might be able to get a trebuchet. I might be able to get some better cavalry. Uh-oh, you're going for my fishing port. To be oh, wait, no. If we lose a fishing port, that's bad. Because we won't have the food. Shit. Um, military alliance. Okay, sure. Loyalty. This person's loyalty is unshakable as a great oak. For them, loyalty is not a matter of shifting allegiance to whoever holds power, but a permanent oath to a single person, never to be broken under any consequences. So Helen, plus 20 satisfaction. Helen is just absolute lad. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, we're going to march. Because if we lose our fishing port, we currently have no food. Um, that's not technically true, actually. We'll have... We'll, hmm, okay, it won't be the worst. In fact, what we could do is upgrade this. It's only going to take two turns. Would give us more food. So actually, that's not the worst thing. Okay, that that's actually okay. It's, it's, it's fine. We will be we will be absolutely, absolutely fine. He... How's the garrison like here? Not great. I believe they've nerfed the towers because everyone was complaining they were too strong. I kind of thought they were fine, personally. But, um... They, they, I mean, they were quite strong. To Sima P to Sima Jingmin, we will receive payouts. Um, our character will join their faction. I mean, okay. Now, obviously, we've got our faction there, right? But he's a bit shit, isn't he? I mean, he's only a village chieftain. Do, do we want to find someone better? He just increases. I mean, we, we could get, a, you know, a fair chunk of money just for this idiot increases income from peasantry 10 percent. i you know what i think I, I feel like i can do better is that is that bad i feel like i could do better um on the other hand you are uh okay let what do you have anything nice that i can take no you have nothing nice you have nothing nothing good what about food because like Nope, you don't really don't want to give us food. I could potentially get food. I don't you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Pity we couldn't agree. No, I mean CMRP, he may be rubbish, but you know. I'm just gonna delegate that. I don't I'm not really bothered. It's only a level one port. Oh, we lost influence. No, I forgot about that. No. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we, we were so close to pulling ourselves out of being inferior. Okay, well, we lost 
A friendship forming. A can friendship blossom on the battlefield? It would appear so, as two comrades find comfort in one another, laughing, training and dining together. Their bond is emblematic of the strength that will reunify China. Uh, Princess P and Song Zhao. Who the f Right, my wife is at making friends with people. Who? This guy. He's a preacher. He's a court noble. He's making friends with my wife. Um, get lost. Minus five satisfaction. How's everyone else? You're not very... Oh, you're not very happy, are you? 20. I mean, technically, you won't leave. Why are you so cranky? Is it just as... Okay, well... I could banish you. I'm kind of tempted to banish him. Everyone else is pretty happy. Oh, Simmer P's not very happy, but... 43. Nah, right. You're making... Right. You, you're getting too friendly with my wife. Piss off. Yep. Get lost. Get lost, dickheads. He's gone. To attention. That's my wife. Making dining, laughing, training. Yeah, right. Before I've seen Strictly come dancing, I know what happens next. One minute they're dancing, the next minute it's all over the front page of the sun. It's going to happen. Um, let's... Do I want to get irrigated farms? That's going to give me more income. Yes, I do. So let's do that. That works for me. Going to get a little bit more replenishment now. That That's fine. We can easily defeat that army. I don't think they have much. I think we can easily... Now, we are losing food. So that means that's going to cu cut into our supplies. We've got depletion of four for food. That's, it means we've still got some time. And also, next turn, we'll get the, the upgrade from the farm there. So that'll give us more food. Both of our towns have walls now. So we're pretty secure. So we can send our one army down there. We're actually making quite a bit... Ch chunk of we change, no actually. Sima Yong. Um, all right. A profitable agreement. I agree. That gave me money, which I'm happy about. Was that... Wait. Did he give me... He, he did give me money, didn't he? I like it when people give me money. It Their feels good. Okay. Sima Liang signed a peace treaty with the Jin Empire. Uh, Jin Empire declared war on Song Wei. And Sima Mao declared war... Uh, joined a war alongside Sima Wei. Okay, fair enough. Uh, now, Sima Liang who starts around here somewhere, who just made peace. He was to be the regent for the new emperor, but he was to be a co-regent. This is what I learned from this Kings and Generals video. It's really good. Um, he was to be a co-regent, and uh, the person he was to be a co-regent with didn't like the idea, so had the empress declare him a traitor with um, the, the new regent, which I think was Simar Wei. Uh, so basically, it's that, that Empress, she is she's problematic. But as the video suggested, um, it's probably she was more like a strong character more than she was actually sort of like some sort of devilish, devilish woman. It's just that, you know, they get portrayed like that. It, it happens a lot in the Three Kingdoms. Like, all the women are either portrayed as, like, evil femme fatales, such as... Uh, uh, oh, God, who? There was one woman there that was, like... Basically, women are just awful in, in Three Kingdoms, apparently. Like, every single one of them is apparently just completely evil and just causing all kinds of trouble. And it's just kind of, you know... I think it's just a, a sign of, of, what, of what a woman's status was in ancient China, really. Do I want... Right, we've got food. Food is fine. Let's get... Oh, we can't build that because we don't have tea. We could build that. That would give us more income. Could maybe... Go. I'm tempted to get a school because more character experience is quite good to get early. Yeah, let's do that. I want a school. Because although it's said that we don't need no education, that's a double negative. So actually, pretty, pretty kind of do. Um, so we've got ancillaries. We've got a labor recruiter. 8k population growth, which is actually quite nice. But we currently don't have any um, um, administrator positions. But I believe... What are we? Do we have to get to 100? Change this turn. I think next turn we're going to get into normal influence. So we're going to get... Actually, we're going to remove a lot of the, the negatives we've got and get some bonuses, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for that. That's what we kind of need. Need more bonuses. We both drown in our people's blood. The f no! Absolutely bloody not! You just took my friggin' fish farm, you absolute prick. No. Your choice. Yeah, my bloody choice. I'm gonna take you to the cleaners, mate. 
I'm going to absolutely bloody murder you. Okay, faction regency. So that, okay, that's the thing. Apparently we've got a new Sima Yao. And we've got Buddhist selfishness. Self, selflessness. Selfishness. And the Empress demands retribution. Uh, one of your more error-prone retainers has... Un Haven't we done this one before? Can I get more wealth? What are we at? 59 of 100. Um, or do I want to go... You know what? I think I'm going to go mind. So he's going to look... You... You don't have a lot of satisfaction, do you? So this might make you leave. Do do I care? Okay, I'm just going to get the apology. There is no sense in upsetting the Empress. You forced your retainer to apologise for his misdeed. The Empress is pleased with your compliance. So we get uh, more prestige, more diplomatic relations with the Jin Empire, and more income. But that has really... Shishu... Is, is grumpy as all hell. In fact, if we go and have a look at him, I think we'll find that he actually has zero satisfaction. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of his stuff because basically he's going to leave and I don't want to take anything useful with him. So he can piss off, basically. But we don't need him right now. Now, that's his close victory. I'm going to... We, do we have, we have fire arrows, don't we? They don't have many archers. Oh, well, actually, they, they do have quite... You know what? I'm going to demand surrender. Okay. I could fight a knight battle. You know what? I reckon we can beat them. And I reckon we can do better than the, the close victory. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've got good infantry, so we're good at we're good at sieges, right? Let's take them. <laughs> Opening volley of fire arrows, and we did actually drop a stone bulwark on these guys, which should increase the range block chance to a hundred um but maybe it doesn't work if they don't have shields because these guys certainly don't look like they have 100 percent block chance that guy's definitely got an arrow to the face that didn't block it very well did it it's already towers are on fire now the enemy has a lot of archers which we need to deal with because those are going to be the problem going to just rain some fire down on the rest of the buildings over here both those towers now well alight of course in ancient china they built the um their, their artillery towers out of just just petrol basically just big big barrels of petrol they were just filled with petrol don't know why they thought that was a good idea but that's just what they did these guys getting a lot of arrows to the face unfortunate for them so we're whittling down these lads the rest of our army is moving up in support in a shield wall formation which should give them yep there we go 80 percent block chance yes that's good didn't actually show up in the battle. In the battle, it still said they had 45% block chance, but apparently they now have 80%, and that shows me in the replay, so that's good. These archers here are, of course, Heelans, so they didn't have fire arrows, but we're going to move them up to support the rest of the archers, who are now having a little ranged duel with the enemy archers. The thing is, um, the enemy are all grouped up in a big blob here, which means that literally we cannot miss. Especially the guys in the front getting riddled with arrows. This is not doing. This is not going very well for them. Plus, of course, we've got loads more ammo because we have a strategist in our army. Yep, it's good to have strategists. Lots of uh, arrows. I mean, if you saw my uh, Martun campaign, Zhuge Liang, literally all the arrows never ran out of arrows. Just rapid fire. We could we could wipe out entire enemy armies just with his, the number of arrows he had. But of course, there was a fantastic story of uh, Zhuge Liang during battle for red cliff or just before he needed to get arrows so what he did is he uh, sailed his ships close to where Sao Sao's army was camped until they shot the ship full of arrows and then he sailed away and then he just kept doing that until he had all their arrows there's a reason that uh, well i mean to be honest that was, that was romance the three kingdoms where Zhuge Liang obviously gets treated like a, a genius but um he, he probably wasn't quite that that smart but 
He definitely, in the Romance uh, of the Three Kingdoms, he's certainly got all the arrows. So now raining more for, uh, fire down on these last few units. Our infantry moving up, axe band to the front, backed up by our raiders behind. The enemy cavalry apparently not knowing what else to do are going to charge into us. Now we've got these... We get some, I think we get some charge reduction or charge benefit from having the, the shield wall. Charge resistance plus 900%. Yep, so that's going to help with the, the dealing with the saber militia. They're not going to get the good charge off. They don't have a particularly good charge bonus as it stands. Not as good as the shock cavalry anyway. Ooh, Sima Zhang being mean. Rude. So we're fighting our way into the city, riddling anyone within range with arrows. Look at these guys trying to get away. Getting shot in the back. God, well, do something about that, certainly. Looks like Sima... Ua and Li Lun, Lun the Hulun, sorry Hulun, always getting mixed up with He Man. In amongst the enemy, chopping them down, looking pretty good. I mean, Sima Ua is literally unstoppable. No one can stop him. He just has. He's got 110 mele, 110 percent melee evasion at the moment. So literally, he eva he evades more than they can actually attack. It wasn't that witty, mate. Strike. So we're going to try and take on this guy, Sima Yao. Show them justice. The enemy going to run him down. That's looking pretty good. Archers continuing just to riddle the enemy with fire. We still still have some missile missile units with ammunition. And we're just concentrating fire down on their missile units, whittling them down, trying to make sure they don't do as much damage to us as we can to them. We're going to debuff the uh, the enemy army. He Lun and Sima Yue just trying to chase down Sima Yao. Looks like he's going after He Lun. I, I maybe should give He Lun some better armor. I was thinking maybe the stats would be better, but I'm thinking actually maybe maybe some more armor would be good. Unfortunately, He Lun is taking a bit of a beating there. And I need to get Sima Yue back here to, to help beat up Sima Yao. I think if we get him back here, we should be fine. Taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, yeah, Hilo needs a hand. Sima Yue is coming back to, to help out. Where is he? There he is. Coming back. Gives him a good old smack in the face. Going to get Hilo out of there because he's taking a beating. Let's get him out of there. There we go. Our infantry is advancing in one big mass. That guy got knocked on his ass. It's a massive melee breaking out as fire as buildings burn in the background. Our cavalry here is taking a little bit of fire, um, but it's certainly not as bad as it used to be. I think they take a couple of hits now rather than just dying in one. So before the towers could kill um, kill a person in one shot, now they take a couple of hits for cavalry, which makes it, you know, it makes more sense. A lovely charge there from our saber militia. Smashing through their defense line. And of course, once we've broken through, we then have the completely undefended rear of the enemy army currently just sitting there, not doing anything. We're fighting our way through. Helan's fine. We've managed to deal with the enemy Sima Yao. Cavalry now moving in. And uh, this is going to be a lovely little charge here that is going to completely shatter the rest of the enemy army. They just get smashed down. Enemy army in full retreats. Last few units running off into the distance. Leaving us with control of the city. I think that worked out quite well, didn't it? That was pretty good. One with integrity. Now let us celebrate with abandon. Only lost 732 men. I'm very happy Our with that. Dominion. Rose. Looks like Sima Jian died. Poor chap. Well, he shouldn't have declared war on me, should he? That was that was his fault. That was on him. And we've got my fishing port back, which is nice. And it also means, which is quite good, that we should... Yes, because the population here is quite 
quite high population gives you a bonus to replenishment, which means because this is part of Dongai, Dongkai uh, over here, which means that, uh, yeah, we've kind of got seven, seven, 770,000, 17,000, sorry, people. And that's going to give us a little bonus replenishment, which means we'll heal up a little bit quicker and we can move and take their large town and then mop up. Because to be honest, I don't think they have very much left. I think that's pretty much all they've got. So it should be nice and easy. Let's get the... I'm going to go school. Let's get the school. That's what we're going to do. And fishing, port, it, wait. Wasn't that rank one? Did they buff it? Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. So, I... Now, if you watch my Martun campaign, you'll know I do like my Onyx Dragons. So, do we want to go military provisions? Because that's going to help us... It's also going to let us get Lance Cavalry, Peasant Riders... More population growth, some more replenishment. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So let's get military provisions. Let's go and do that. Um, are we actually researching quicker now? Four turns. There we go. That's what we wanted because we had a 25% research reduction, but now we've got a 10% research increase. So actually what we've done is increased our research rate by 35%, which is very, very good. We've also got a whole bunch of other buffs. So that's really good. So yeah, at the moment we're losing one... Um, influence a turn but we're getting six a turn so we're actually going and gaining five a turn um, but that's you know that's fine um, next rank up we get some and these bonuses are pretty useful and at max rank you only get minus two influence decay which means that actually you gradually reach omnipresent anyway gradually Sumar Sumar UA would eventually just become omnipresent just by himself but so we've got Princess P helping along with a little um, little buff with her assignments, which gives us extra three influence a turn, also 20% income from all sources, which is not to be sniffed at. Uh, so pretty good there. We took back Dongai fishing ports, and we can move. You want military access? Um, all right. Your wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. Ah, oh, thank you. It's nice. It's very nice. Now, do we go down and? We could take their farmland for all of them. Character leaves. Yep, he's gone. Don't care. Do not care. What we can do... Oh, we got a fish. A clay fish. Let's give... Okay, let's give you the stone pig. Because that's going to make your melee damage even more potent. What did you have beforehand? Plus two. That's going to make you... Plus three. Holy shit. That's looking pretty good. Uh, let's give you... a Have, have a clay fish sure have a clay fish why not that's fine happy with that now we want to move against how long is it going to take there that's two turns three turns so pff, well just head straight for them we're going to replenish anyway taking that town should be fairly straightforward they've got they've got um, oh their farmland's been taken by simayan I've got a trade port. We might go. We might actually hit Simai. Who is Simai? Well met. We have much to discuss. Yes. Who are you friends with? You're trading with the Jin Empire, but otherwise, no one. I might decide to kill you. Just FYI. Might decide to kill you because you'll have something that is mine. Um. In fact, we've got quite a lot of cash coming in, haven't we? Do I want to spend money on getting like another army? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Do we get Sim RP up? Do we do we get him doing something? I'm I'm thinking yes. He is our factionaire. He might be, you know, bloody useless, but he is our factionaire. Although out of interest, what would you do? So you would make everyone cost ten percent more but you give everyone more charge speed. I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. I was thinking of making he learn my, my air, but I'm not sure. You I, I guess I guess Sim RP's fine. 
the traits are just a little bit boring, aren't they? I wish they could like gain things over time. That might make them more interesting potentially. Uh, okay, so let's raise an army like here. So let's get Simar P up. Serve integrity. Exactly. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. I'll get right on that. Let's give you the replenishment because that'll be quite useful to have. <sighs> Fucking clumsy. I don't know. It's just it's such a disappointment. Okay, but you will get on with G Tinglan, Tinglan, who is a rogue. What traits do you have? Disloyal, artful, bright. Well, disloyal is not great, is it? So maybe not her. Wait, are you actually in my... No, you're just, just over there. So maybe we just might want to... I want a vanguard. There is no vanguard. And I want a... Right, so maybe what we just do at the moment is grab some spears for you and just sort of let you, you know, just chill for the moment. And we'll pick up We'll pick up peeps as and when we can find them. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that makes sense because your weapons will be valuable in this fight. Oh well, I'm, I'm, yeah, they uh, they would they would obviously, but I'm going to say no. Curious, but acceptable. I know it's weird, isn't it? I don't want to declare war on the Jin Empire. I can't imagine why. That's just just bizarre. Very, very strange. Right. I don't think... Can we hit this this turn? Oh, we can. Decisive. Yeah, this this isn't going to be... When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Not going to be a tricky, tricky fight, that. We're a prince. Uh, your achievements have marked you as one to watch, but the Sima clan is vast. You will need to progress further if you are to prove yourself a worthy contender for the regency. Of course, if you have little time for such titles and legitimacy, you can always seek to put yourself on the throne by force. I feel like uh, Simart UA is not that that way inclined. So there's a trade port down there. Um, the farmland is in our way. Do we want to declare war on Simart? Yeah, I'm saying yes because I think I think that's the, the way forward. Must be led. I think it is. So it's making it's getting more. I mean, if we get the trade port, that does make sense. So I guess that's fine. We can spend a couple of food to upgrade this. That'll give us walls and an extra building what slot. That works for me, so let's do that. We could then increase this. Let's do that. I mean, basically anything that just gives us a little bit more income is, is not a bad thing, in my opinion. We got an inspector. Oh, you're actually pretty good. What are we? Uh, oh, we've got multiple inspectors. Holy shit! Uh, does my son want an inspector? Ben, do not break. What does inspector do? Uh, morale for the entire army. Okay. Plus five cover for enemy spies. We're probably not going to be dealing with spies this early on, so maybe just do that. I'll give you some melee evasion, some more health, something like that. Just to sort of try and help you along. We don't. That's probably. I mean, I quite like the spear. Do I? That's more armor piercing, and people do tend to have armor. I do you want to give you the the? G let's give you the G just to just for fun. Just for fun. Let's give you the G. Sure. You're not friends with anyone, so I reckon we can probably take you. And that's kind of heading us southward. Is that sensible? I mean, it's generally fine. I'm a little bit worried about Simar Way over there, but... Ah, Simar Su and Sao Su are here. So they are both potentially what I want, but we can't afford them, which is a bit shit. But you would be okay. You wouldn't like Simar P. Um... You're quite pricey. You could be afforded next turn. Do we want to maybe... Because... If I cancel that... Be the sword. I mean, that's... Super expensive, isn't it? I would prefer to get an army up. So let's get uh, Sao Su. 
What are you like? What have you got? You are fiery. That's pretty good. Fraternal, fine. And tough. I mean, you sound great. More melee evasion. Reduced penalty for for um, wanting a higher office. You sound like perfect. We'll take you. Simasu, on the other hand, is distinguished, mm, indecisive, meh, and greedy. Oh, uh, you're rubbish. I'm not taking you. We won't take you. Um, I will upgrade. I don't want to upgrade this town. We could do that next turn. I answer your request. We can also get the new, because of course one of the new units is the Cataphracts. <gasps> and I fucking love Cataphracts. Oh, I fucking love them. If, whenever I was playing Attila Total War, um, always played the Allens. Um, one, because I've got a funny name. And second of all, because all the Cataphracts, and I do love them, so I want some Cataphracts. I might get rid of He Lun just because we could have more Cataphracts. That's literally... That's literally the, Commanders are a bit I shit, a aren't they? For you. you want an eavesdropper, do you? Um, I'm gonna say no. We withdraw it then. Okay, you withdraw it. See if I care. I don't. Well, okay. I want to build up this town, give it walls. Once it's got walls, then we can try and take on. Oh god, what happened? Sima Wei signed a peace treaty with that guy. Okay. Sima Ying joined the coalition of Qiu Chang. Okay. Sima Yong declared war on Sima Ji. Fair enough. Jin Empire signed a peace treaty. Okay, that's good. Qiu Chang requested Sima Yang join their war. Okay. Join their war. Fine. Uh, control the capital. The time has come. You have gained sufficient influence that you can now make your move on the capital. Lu Yang. Quest conquest is the most direct route, but a diplomatic annexation may also be possible. Um... Okay, you are now a sufficient rank to guarantee at least some support where you to take the Imperial Capital. Doing so will greatly boost your prestige and bring you closer to victory and give us a crap ton of money. Now, Lu Yang is over there. Um, it's fairly close by, actually, isn't it? It's not too far away. We could potentially do that. Um, the faction leader who controls the Emperor Kupin's regent, gaining prestige and diplomatic bonuses with minor factions, but diplomatic penalties with major factions. Going to capture the Emperor before you gain sufficient, your court may reject your claim and seek a different regent. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's upgrade uh, this town. Gu Guangling? Guangling? I think we're going to take the farmland over here and of course we have spies now spies i mean who can forget my my femme fatale spy from from the martun campaign who I, I just threw into Wu just as a general sort of let's see what happens she killed her way she she assassinated sun jian sun shuen sun Su, and then assassinate her husband became emperor she assassinated him became empress rebelled caused a civil war then declared war on me stole a crappy robe and then escaped back to my faction all of which was absolutely fantastic and hilarious so i definitely want to use spies again this time around because you know when when it goes right with spies it it really goes right um so do we want to head can we re we can't recruit a spy now, can we? Oh, Sima Su is... He's awful, but he could potentially be a spy. That's options. Options. I like options. Do I want to... Uh, see, it's cutting into our money at the moment, isn't it? So we could take the farmland. I'm saying we do that. Dominion call. I'm going to go around this way. Take the farmland and the trade port. And then we'll have to deal with uh, if we must. Sima Yan. I don't know how much territory he has. Can we... Okay, so he's got a copper mine and a salt mine down here as well. But I think that could be quite strong if we take that. It does leave us with quite sort of a stretched out empire. And means if Sima Wei declares war on us, and I'm sort of feeling like that could happen at some point then we could be in a bit of a tricky situation. But, I mean, the more territory we have, the more armies we can have to protect it. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to take the farmland. Going to build up our armies. 
Consider our proposal. You want military access? You're going to give me money. Uh, sure. A productive meeting. Yeah, it was quite good, wasn't it? Good meeting. Enjoyed it. Like the biscuits. Uh, okay, Sima Wei requested that person join their war. Fair enough. Sima Yong signed a peace treaty with Joe Ru. Okay. Victor, okay, we've got military provisions. That's nice. And character. Oh, lots of people joined us. Who we got? Sima Yan. We've got uh, Ji Tinglan. Didn't I have you before? Mi Jing Wan and Toba Zo Zo Zhong. Zhong? Zhong. Um, anyone useful? So. You, I think we already looked at. You are bright, but you're disloyal as well. What is it with advisors? Never trust advisors. It's just a bad idea. Strategist, just the worst. Yeah, I don't like... Um, don't like... Don't... Wait, what? Sima... You, you like... Who the fuck is Sima Yarn, then? Past events, opinions, opinions, battle, battle. So wait, you really like... Why do you like him? Have you met? Past loyalty, Simar... Mm, I don't trust you. I do not trust you whatsoever. So, you don't like Simar here or South... Okay, fair enough. Um, right, okay, what we could do... We can put Princess P back to do get get me some more influence. We can we're going to declare war, and, and we're going to take that farmland. Justice is on our side. So let's grab that because I want it. Today. And it's mine now. It is ours by right. Ah, oh, we got some ranks. Ah, right. Okay, so you have rights, Simafu is building a little army down there so we can deal with him no problem he lun has ranked up and we're going to give you zeal i mean you could potentially become quite a good character it's just the it's just just the commanders are very good serve, it's a shame i want to like commanders i do how may i serve my lord um can we I mean, I guess later on it's not so much of a big deal because you can get, like, the dragon units. But until then, pretty much all you can have is is the Sabre Cavalry. That's, that's basically what you, you can get that's special. I mean, you can get the, the Raiders, can't you? That's not necessarily the worst, actually, is it? My lord, tell me your wish and I shall strive to fulfil it. Okay, be able to recruit cataphracts. Can you do that? No? Well then... There we go. You're just a constant disappointment to me, Helen. I don't care how much how satisfied you are. You are a constant disappointment to me. I want to get some cataphracts. That's my thing. I want to get cataphracts. That means I need to rank you up. No, I can get them. I just need a shit ton more money. Um, technically, I could recruit them next turn, but only one unit. But still, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, we could upgrade you. Oh, do we have tea? We've got probably got tea from trade, haven't we? That's just better. It's just better to have that. I want cataphracts, but not that much. Uh, the market is fine. We could make it into a tea parlour. That is better, because we're not really getting a lot of commerce income. So the more, co the more base income from commerce we can get... It's, it's worth a lot more than the currently... Yeah, so it gives us 10%. So it gives us 30 more base income and 10% more bonus income. But if we have more bonus income, that's just better. So let's upgrade that. So that's fine. Happy with that. We're going to capture the trade port down there. That's going to give us a bit more income. And then we're going to have to deal with um, Sima, Sima Yarn. But I'm, I'm, fairly, I'm fairly happy that that should be straightforward um tech wise what do i like more character experience would be quite good income from pom commerce and trade agreements would be quite good um i mean the replenishment would be really nice and population growth i'll keep costs from 
for new spies and more chance. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. Hmm, Trixie. I'm kind of, I mean, minus one construction time. I'm tempted by the character experience. That's all. I, th I think I, th I just feel that's calling to me. I want my characters to rank up quicker. So we've got the school over here. So that's going to give us a little bit more bonus, which is good. And I think you, do you have the skill that gives us more experience? Or did you not? I don't think you do, actually. No, you don't. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel like ranking up quickly is is pretty key. So let's do that. We'll move on the trade port next time. We're going to recruit some cataphracts, hopefully next time, assuming we, we have the income. I think if we take the trade port, we'll be fine. And what else did I get? A red thoroughbred. Ooh, now. We can pop that on you, can't we? Boop, that'll... Well, that doesn't make a check. You're, you're quite happy. If we give you a, a nice horse, you become a little bit more pensive. Don't know why giving them stuff makes me go, hmm. Why? Are they suspicious? Not sure. Never mind. Okay, so next time we'll be taking the trade port. We'll be getting cataphracts, all that kind of good stuff. More tech, more building. Oh, I can't wait. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Sim IUA campaign.